back to my channel. Today I have a July message for all of the Aries out in the collective. Please note this is going to be a general reading, so it is not going to resonate with every single Aries out in the collective. I ask that you take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Eileen Into Spirit. My name is Eileen Rouse. I am a psychic intuitive, a spiritual coach, and a sound healing practitioner. So without further ado, Aries, let's go ahead and dive right into your July message. So we are going to start out with exchanging gifts, freedom, and relationship change. Okay, so I feel that this July here for you, um, Aries, is really going to focus around um, breaking free from things that have made you feel a little bit more caged in, restricted, or limited. This could be about um, relationships in your life. It doesn't have to necessarily be just romantic relationships. It can be relationships in general, um, whether that's family relationships, coworker relationships, sibling relationships. I just feel that um, there's a lot of change that is going to be happening for you. So the relationship change here is a 56, which is an 11. So this is about um, sort of awakening to the changes that are sort of happening around the relationships around you. I feel that maybe you're becoming more aware, Aries, here of... Um, certain relationships that make you feel a little bit restricted, make you feel bound, make you feel caged in a little bit, um, where there's not a lot of freedom. And maybe you're giving to this relationship in a way that is just very taxing on you and it's just taking a lot from you. And there isn't just, uh, there isn't an equal amount of exchange when it comes to this particular relationship or relationships. So I do feel that this book is really about you breaking free um, from all relationships that are not healthy for you, that uh, might be a little bit toxic for you, that sort of thing. So let's go ahead and dive right into the tarot here, Aries, and see what additional information Spirit has for you. So we're starting off with the Three of Pentacles, which is about community, and it is about um, working towards a common goal. So I do find it very interesting that we did get the message here about relationship change, and I mentioned that it was just relationships in general. So you have the Three of Pentacles with the Page of Wands here, and this truly signifies to me here, Aries, that you're sort of... Um, embarking on a new adventure when it comes to relationships, you are going to be meeting new relationships, newer people with more, um, that you have more things in common with are going to be coming into your life. Uh, and I feel that this is the change that is actually going to be happening for you. I do feel that with the page of wands, um, this is like new relationship contracts. I do feel that you have been really contemplating a lot of relationships in your life that you've sort of been feeling, you know, are they giving to me in the way that is equal? Is it reciprocal? Um, am I learning? Am I getting, am I gaining something out of these particular relationships? And I feel this is something that you're actually really learning from. And that's a beautiful thing. The Queen of Cups here really signifies um, how your intuition has truly been providing you with the guidance in regards to those specific relationships. And now it's a matter of you really asking yourself, is this relationship worth it? Am, am I really meant to stick with this relationship or should I just move on? I do want to point out here that with the death and the rebirth here, it's really about understanding that there are certain relationships here, Aries, that you will have to let go of because in order for you to develop or build newer relationships with people that you have things in common with, you have to let go of older relationships that are no longer in alignment with you. I don't want you to feel guilty about giving those up. I want to really make that very clear. I don't want you to feel guilty about that. I want you to understand that, you know, when it is time for certain relationships to be 
um, to dissipate or be uh, let go of, there's a process. It's all part of the process. And sometimes things have to go away. They have to die. They have to sort of come to an end because there's more beyond what you see. And I want to point out that whatever relationships you've been contemplating here, Aries, um, it's important that you understand that, you know, if you stay in this particular type of relationship, if you continue to try to make something work that isn't meant to work, um, it's only going to limit you further. And you don't want to be caged in. You want to have this sense of freedom. You want to have this um, sense of not being you know, locked in or uh, sort of restricted into staying in a certain cycle. And so this is what I want you to let go of. Don't feel guilty about this. I don't want you to sort of put yourself in the place of being the victim or being the bad person um, when it comes to this because you're just needing to let this go. I do feel that you do have a lot of other relationships that will be blossoming and blooming and coming in for you that are going to be so inspirational for you and motivational for you. I feel that they're going to offer you something spectacular that you aren't really getting in your current relationships now. Um, so this is the reason why um, you're needing to sort of close the door on those older relationships. You now have the Nine of Cups um, with the um, Three of Swords. Okay, so it's important that you understand here that, you know, these relationships... Um, these newer relationships that are sort of coming into your life here, Aries, are ones that you have been asking for. Um, I feel like you've been asking for a specific type of friendship, a specific type of partner in business, that sort of thing. Um, and I feel that you're needing to sort of let go of these thoughts or these doubts that you have that it isn't going to happen or that it's not meant to be. You need to let those go because you're only limiting yourself by believing in those things, by allowing that fear to sort of hinder you from accepting the change that is coming. You have worked really hard on yourself and understand that in certain relationships, not everyone is willing to put forth effort into building themselves or working on themselves. So I don't want you to give up hope. I want you to continue pushing forward here, Aries, because you do have a lot to offer these individuals that come into your life. And make no mistake, the people that come into your life now are meant to be in your life because you both are meant to learn something from each other and allow things to flow naturally. When the relationship blossoms, let it blossom. When it fades, let it fade. Don't try to force anything to happen here, Aries. Just allow it to be what it is. So Aries, this is your message for this July. I want to thank you so much for joining me today and I will look forward to seeing you in your next message. Bye guys. Thank you.